never been here. Okay. Just a really quick brief history. Um, the High Line used to be an elevated freight train line. It was built in the early 1930s. Um, it always carried freight, never passengers. It ran from, it connected to um, train lines that ran upstate, up at uh, Penn Station, and ran all the way down to Houston Street. Um, in the 50s and 60s, the city started tearing parts of it down. Uh, there was various community uh, resistance, and in 1999, our co-founders, uh, Joshua David and Robert Hammond, met at a community board meeting where they decided to form the group called Friends of the High Line, which is who I now work for. Um, when they formed the group, they didn't know what they wanted to do with the structure, they just knew that it shouldn't be torn down. It was a great historical relic in the city. Um, so I work for Friends of the High Line. One of the big questions we get is, um, you know, do we work for the city? It is a city park, but it's managed by Friends of the High Line. It's a public-private partnership. It's the same way Central Park is managed, Prospect Park, um, the Battery, the Battery Park Conservancy. A lot of city or major parks in the city are managed that way. Um, so section one of the park opened in June 2009. It was uh, nine blocks from Gansevoort to 20th Street. If you ever came up, there was a fence up here and you could look through, but never go through until now. So section two is another 10 blocks. It goes from 20th Street to 30th Street. Um, and that opened in June of this year. I've worked here since the park opened. It's been a continuing learning experience and continues to be. Um, so we're just going to move ahead. It looks like the next group is coming, but the first section that we're going to go through is a section called the Chelsea Thicket. So just keep your eyes for, you know, a wood 